When you put your hands on your stomach and breathe in, your stomach expands. Why do you think your stomach expands when you breathe in? Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. The lungs are respiratory organs that are vital to the breathing process and are necessary to acquire life-giving oxygen. Let's learn how our lungs work by using simple materials from around your house to build a DIY of a lung model. In this model, you will need the following materials. One empty two liter plastic bottle to make the chest cavity, two plastic straws, one to make the track hair and another to make the bronchi, a pair of scissors to cut the balloons, cell tape to secure the straws, two small sized balloons to represent the lungs, one medium sized balloon to make the diaphragm, a cutter to cut the straws, modeling clay to secure the straws to prevent air escape. First, let's prepare the bottle. Cut off the bottom of the plastic bottle and try to make a smooth cut. And this is now going to represent our chest cavity. Next, create the Y-shaped connector. Cut one straw about one centimeter from one end and fold out the legs to make a Y-shaped structure. So this, fold it outwards. It is going to form two small legs forming the Y section. So I will insert the first short straw into one side and then the second into this other side. Using these two short straws, I'm going to secure this Y section using modeling clay. Ensure that your modeling clay is going to prevent any air escapes at the Y junction. And this is how our Y section is complete. This forms the track hair, and this one will form the two ends of the bronchi. Next, let's now attach our balloons, which are going to represent the lungs. So what I will do, I'll cut one end of the balloon, the mouth end of the balloon, or both the balloons. So I'm going to insert these balloons on either end of the bronchi and secure using tape. Then I'll cut the excess part. And then I'll do the same for the other side of the bronchi. Next, let's now assemble the model. This being a complete Y connector with the lungs, we are going to pass it inside the chest cavity and pass it through the neck to the top. Now we are going to use the modeling clay to secure this top part and ensure that we have an airtight seal. Now we are going to create the diaphragm. Using a medium sized balloon, we are going to tie a knot at the end of the balloon. So this is our knot, and then I'm going to cut on the largest part of this balloon, which is the center. Stretch the cut balloon with the knot across the bottle opening of your plastic bottle. So in this process, you can get a helping hand such that it's easy for you to dress this outer opening. So 
as you noticed, the base of my bottle is weak. So please be mindful of the kind of bottle that you get. Make sure that you get a bottle whose base is very stiff, not folding like this. So for that matter, I'm going to try with a second bottle, which is at least stiff. So I'm going to transfer my whole Y connector into the second bottle that I've made. After stretching the balloon with a knot across the open end of our bottle, we are going to secure this section with tape to ensure that there is no escape of air. This is the complete structure of our lung model. This is the chest cavity, which is the plastic bottle. This straw represents the windpipe or the trachea. The balloon at the bottom is our diaphragm. The two small balloons inside represent the lungs. This one is the Y-shaped connector which forms the bronchi. Finally, let's test how our model actually works. Gently pull down the balloon knot and release and observe how the balloons or the lungs inside are behaving. From our observation, when you pull down the balloon knot or the diaphragm, the space inside the bottle, which is the chest cavity, increases. This increase in space lowers the air pressure inside the bottle compared to the air outside the bottle. Air rushes in through the straw, which is the trachea, that equalizes the pressure. This later on inflates the balloons. When you gently release the knot at the bottom, it returns to its original position, decreasing the space inside the bottle. This decrease in space inside the bottle creates a high pressure inside the bottle compared to the outside air. The higher pressure forces air out of the balloons or the lungs through the straw or the trachea. This model shows us how our lungs work. The two lungs are the primary organs of the respiratory system. They sit on the left and the right within a space called the chest cavity. The cavity is protected by the rib cage. A sheet of muscle called the diaphragm also serves other parts of the respiratory system like the trachea or the windpipe and the bronchi that conduct air to and fall from the lungs. The process of breathing is divided into two distinct phases. The first phase is inhalation, also called breathing in. When the lungs inhale, the diaphragm expands and pulls down. At the same time, the muscles inside the ribcage expand and pull down. This increases the size of the chest cavity and decreases the pressure inside. As a result, air rushes in and fills the lungs. The second phase is called exhalation or breathing out. When the lungs exhale, the diaphragm relaxes and pulls up. This decreases the volume of the chest cavity and increases the pressure inside it. As a result, the air is forced out and the lungs relax. And that's all for today's video. You can try it out on your own and let us know how your model works in the comment section. We would be glad to have you subscribe to our channel, share and like this video. Bye! Oh, 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 oh,